Hi, everybody. Fritz Arndt from Germany here. Um, I'm very happy to be able to present to you our results from the knowledge transfer. Um, next slide, please. So um, if you don't know us or the, the organization I'm representing, I'm representing Optimedis and one of our regional management organizations called Gesunder Werner Meissner Kreis. Optimedis is a consultancy in Germany uh, focused and specialized in uh, building up integrated care regions and was re responsible for building up Gesundes Kinsigtal and is now yeah, building up Gesundes Vera Meissner Kreis and new regions in 2022. Um, we have a, uh, let's say, not historic, but we are com connected to uh, Adlife and Chirocco over our partner Kronigune from the Basque country. And um, we had a shared goal of understanding for our new region, and that was uh, how we could use the electronic health record in the capacity building for integrated care, which in this case means the project AdLife, uh, which goal is to build up a case management for advanced chronically ill patients. Um, yeah, thank you. The next, next slide is good. Um, we had a capacity build, uh, like a um, knowledge, you know, a maturity assessment in 2020. And Gesundheit Meissner Kreis and it identified two distinct uh, lacks of uh, yeah, problems, which is first the digital infrastructure and the population approach. Uh, with the digital infrastructure, we in Germany especially mean the electronic health record. Um, we are lacking behind in that regard, and we are using a, let's say, waterfall project management. That means every year there's a release of function, and let's say in a few years we are in a, at a complete function where you can call it an electronic health record with regards to other European countries. Uh, this situation is bothering and holding us back, and therefore we wanted to understand how other regions dealt with this issue and initiated this webinar in February 20 and 21. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, first, I wanna thank you all the colleagues from Kroniguni who participated and who prepared a uh, very comprehensive package of information uh, in, the, uh, in the session, but also afterwards. Um, we were able to, uh, yeah, from our, our technical team, our we call it a health economics team um, to answer or like ask and get answered questions regarding the electronic health record, uh, regarding the functionality, regarding priority to optimize solutions that we could use. And well, our main learning was that uh, Germany is lagging behind in the timeline. And for the project that we want to participate in, namely AdLife, we will have to need to use a, a substitute solution. Um, and this meant we have to yeah, sub uh, program this solution. So also we can say we do, we're not able to implement this action, but we have to research the action because we are, uh, have to develop the electronic health record first. Next slide, please. Um, nevertheless, I think the, the Shiroko exchange was very useful for us because it came to the right point in time. Um, we needed some time to think about it, but in the end, we're able to contract the University of Kassel in August of last year. And uh, they're uh, specialized in communication technology and uh, all our needs basically met. They were regional, they uh, have a yeah, regional component or, or also understanding and intrinsic motivation to help us. Um, we were able to build a, a software or like a, a database that will be able to intake the information from study nurses and enable us to run the AdLife uh, project simulating an advanced care uh, for chronically ill patients with our health and lung nurses who will be employed as case managers. Um, moreover, and that was also important, I think for the change management side, so. On the technical side, we had a choice. And also on the change management side, when it comes to the advertisement of the project, we uh, decided to strengthen the, the topic of shared decision-making and are working now 
on a, a workshop format to yeah basically in this intervention first uh, um, yeah, address shared decision making and the technical component second as an add-on. Uh, think next slide, please. Uh, when it comes to challenges uh, regarding the exchange, I can mention our learning that both parties favored a, a personal exchange prior, of course, from experience. Uh, nevertheless, I think the online exchange was very fruitful. Um, however, I think in the end, also all partner agree, especially with our goal of long-term uh, cooperation and other projects between our organizations that, uh, yeah, we would like to focus on a personal exchange next time. And I think there's pros and cons to both that all we are aware of nowadays after the pandemic. Um, yeah. Maybe they're equally in weight. Next slide, please. Um, and with looks into the future, uh, we are well ahead now um, with the development of the our EdLife electronic health record, which will finish uh, development in, in June, I hope. Uh, so what the gun chart says so far, um, we are able to roll out our shared project at life uh, uh, this year. And definitely the workshop helped us to, to on different levels of the organizations to give this input that we have an issue there and that we have to uh, drive in a certain direction. And finally, we hope nevertheless that after the intervention, we are able to transition into the standardized German EHR uh, in the version that's released in 2024, of course, just in time after our project, hopefully. Thank you very much. <laughs>